Now, Elijah needed to learn something here, and I want you to learn uh, the same thing. Elijah had to learn that his journey wasn't over and that at this current stage in his life, he has done so many wonderful things as a prophet of God, but at this stage in his life when he had just said a month and a half ago to God, all right, take me away, I'm done. God said, what are you talking about? You're not done. I have more for you to do. I came to tell you God has more for you to do. This stage, this age of your life where you are right now, you have more God wants you to do. And I want to say that to every age group. I want to say that to young people. God has plans for you. Like Elijah, God has more for you to do. God loves young people. He loves using young people. Some of the greatest revivals that ever broke out in the history of the world happened with young people. And I'm here to tell you, young folks, God has a plan for you. And as soon as you get on board and say, okay, Lord, I am available to you, do through me and with me and for me whatever you choose. I'm not in a, comp I'm not in a competition trying to be the most popular person among peers. I want to be a popular person in heaven. I want heaven to look at me and say, well done. Young man, young woman, keep on doing the will of God. I came to tell young folk God has big plans for you if you will just submit to him. You can be who you are. You don't have to, you don't have to become an old fogey. Come on, young folk, y'all need to understand that. I got saved young. A bunch of my friends got saved young. We made a lot of our mistakes and all of that, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a good decision to make it young. Since you're going to make some messes in life anyway, probably, you might as well make them saved and trying to do the will of God. And so I want young people to know God is calling you. I'm asking God to send revival and let it catch fire among young America and young people throughout the world. Because of my podcast and my app, I'm listened to in, in Europe. We have listeners in Asia. We have listeners on the continent of Africa. And I'm asking God, move all over the world and let young people get in on it. I want to see young people... Get in on this. I want to see Generation Z and whatever generation comes behind them. I don't know where they're going to go after Z. I guess they have to start a new category. But I want y'all to see the power of God in your lifetime and in your generation. And it can happen. It just needs a few folk to say yes to God. And God will take you and do something mighty with you. And go on, y'all can be who you are. When we, was, when we got saved as young people, you know, they, the, the older saints treated us like we were strange too. It happens to every generation. It's, isn't it amazing how every generation thinks young people are weird? Yeah. <laughs> Our parents thought we were weird. Why are we going fool with these young people now? I have, I, when I got saved, bushes were in order. Afros. I, you, yes, I used to have one. Big afro. You, I used afro sheen. I need some old heads now. Afro sheen, ultra sheen. You put that in there and get it all nice and glistening in the sun. Afro sheen, and we'd 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 put we'd braid it up at night. In the morning, we would take it out with an afro pick. Come on, I need some help up in here. Afro pick and pick it out, and just go out, and you're just ready. I look like I was in the Jackson Five. We all looked weird to older people when we got saved. One of the mothers in the church, I'll never forget, one of the mothers in the church came up to me and said, "Your hair offends me." I like said, what my hair got to do with her? I went to my father, who was my pastor. I said, do I have to cut my hair for this lady? Because I was trying, I wanted to be saved. I just want to know, is that what Jesus is going to call me to do? He said, no, I'll have a meeting with the older saints. And he did. He had a meeting with them. And he said, leave these young people alone. They're coming to know Jesus. Let them get discipled. Let them learn who Jesus is, what he wants to do in life. Stop putting your stuff on them. And so, young folk, I got your back. If I see somebody fooling with y'all, I got you. Because you, you go on and do you. But do it in Christ. And say, Lord, have your way in me. 
do have your will done in me. And I want to see God do it. I want to say to older people, I want to say to middle-aged people, I want to say to every age category, God's not finished with you yet. And so ask him, what do you want to do in me right now? Don't have an early death wish. You'll get to heaven soon enough. And when you get there, it'll be for all eternity. So quit rushing. You get there, you're going to enjoy God for all eternity. But in the meantime, do his will here and now. Millennials, y'all getting, y'all moving up toward middle age. Y'all going to be there before too long. Do it now. Amen. I, I still hear some folks saying these young people, millennials, I like the, the millennials aren't the young people. They're young adults, but they're moving on up. Come on, somebody. But y'all still got a lot of work to do. And so get it done. You, you folk who are in, in my church, they call it prime time. You're somewhere between the young adults and the senior citizens. Too old to be young adult, too young to be senior citizen. You're just stuck in the middle. Well, in the middle, God still got some plans for y'all in the middle. Get it done in Jesus' name. There are lives to touch. There are people to change, to, to see change, positive change come in their life through your influence. And so God's not finished with you just like he wasn't finished with Elijah. Hey, thanks so much for viewing today. I hope you were blessed. Listen, if you want to receive all of the videos that we post, simply subscribe by pressing the button on your screen. We'd also like to encourage you to share this information with others so that they too can be blessed. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.